You do. All right, so we have four dogs now. <laughs> oh, so Oopsie. cute. Oh, Emma's so happy. Yeah, she's good. She was like initially like, ah, who are these dogs? And now she's like, hello, best friends. <laughs> Buying a mattress, not these, a different one which is already packed up. I guess I'll get a video of that later. Uh -huh. 95 for that cow. Yeah. Uh, getting the frame, yay. So where's the cow? Look at this cool cow. <laughs> that is so fun. 95 labs and storage. What's it goes in there? No idea. Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> That's the bed frame. It took him a while to locate the bed frame, but he's found it. So this is fantastic. Bed frame 228 loves and mattress 300 something loves. 305 loves, I think. So altogether about five under 550 for bed, mattress and frame. Ta da the mattress. It is 160 by 200 so seeing as i'm 177 i think i'll fit at least in one direction and here's the bed frame i also got this little thing that just seemed like useful another paintbrush and some cherry tomatoes yay and that's the bed frame look the mattress fits into jade perfectly it's amazing and uh, there's the frame down there on the floor Wow, so this mattress is 160 by 200 and Jade is like, yep, no problem. Okay, so the living room has got food uh, for the doggos, water, best view, doggo couch. This couch is so bad, but it's comfortable for the dogs. And dirty, so the dogs have been on here as well, but this couch is really not comfortable. I don't much longer and otherwise just this is the setup in the living room oh look at this super cute little lamp isn't that the cutest little lamp beautiful beautiful ever love it bright hey pretty boss hey Eva that's pretty Look, this is the conservatory now. That still needs to go on the floor. That's a little carpet runner. Shoes go over there. <laughs> and this is going to be my planting section, table sort of thing. So all the plants are gonna move into the pots soon. This is something I just picked up from Econ, a couple books. And yeah, so I think this room is going to be perfect as a little garden nursery, transplant center and all that. I know the carpets, <laughs> blankets are still outside because it rained. It's been raining, so they're still wet, but hopefully tomorrow it'll be sunny. So yay. Also, that is there now. <laughs> this table was over there and this one came from the kitchen. I think it looks pretty perfect. Okay, and the bathroom is looking sort of the same, I suppose. Um, this is not leaking anymore. That works fine. And this is not leaking anymore. It works absolutely great. So yeah, the mop lives here. There's a little space here. I'm not sure. Maybe the mop can go there. But yeah, awesome bathroom. Okay, this is the kitchen. A little, kind of a lot has changed here. This table is now there. And it was over here. And now this has shifted over that way. Let's get to the other side. And the fridge has moved. It was here and now it's moved over there. And I kind of think it looks way better like this. It just opens the space up a little bit. Henry lives there now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the bin for now until I actually get an actual bin, but that works great. Kettle, yeah, this is just, it feels great now. 
Um, I've put a couple of things in here. A couple of things. Oh, I got these beautiful plates. They're really nice. There's a second one somewhere. And a couple of treats. Chocolate. Yeah, so this is the DIY cupboard for now. This will probably change at some point. And this will also move at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that the fridge has moved. It feels better for me, I think. And that is the other side of the kitchen. Chair, patchka, table. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work, but it feels good for now. It feels really good. And this is the view out of the French doors. So, yeah, I think the table over there is actually pretty perfect underneath the window. The window needs cleaning. <laughs> it had cement on it and I just gave it a really quick wipe and you can see all the stripes. <laughs> Whoops. But I think underneath the window, the table is it's got a good spot. The poor little gate has really broken because we had this really big windstorm and it's basically just, yeah, pretty broken. So probably need to replace that at some point. It's not really doing any sort of job. Yep. So this is gonna be the fruit and potato stand for now. Um, <laughs> and also paint is still hanging about, but I'm quite happy with the paint job on this cabinet. I think this looks so good, super pleased. So I don't think it needs any more painting actually. Uh, so I'll pack away the paint um, after I have touched up that spot over there when moving the fridge that was hiding behind it. Yeah, there's a bunch of little spots to touch up, so that still needs to be done, but otherwise super happy. That drawer needs to go back in there, but I need to fix that before that can happen because there's a little spacer missing. There needs to be a support here to hold the drawer. Like... That. that needs to be another one down here. So I'll do that at some point. Okay, so this is the bed, mattress. It's still in the plastic wrapper because bed frame is still there. <laughs> so I still need to assemble the bed frame, but it is comfy. I've got a bit of storage over there, sander, extra blankie, and some more storage. And yeah, I'm sleeping here. I'm sleeping in my new house. It's pretty great. <laughs> Super happy with it. And um, here I've got some snacks. Gotta still put these in the doors. But yeah, the bedroom is really nice and clear now. I have just made a ton of space. There used to be a fan over there and some curtains and some bedside cabinets here. They've all gone into the extra room. Hanging out with the doggos, watching Mope, Wilfred, and there's this really cool little lime lamp. Wilfred and Eva are talking about food. This is Eva. Hi, Eva. Are you pretty? <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> you are so pretty. There's little Emma. Emma's got a lot of puppy energy. And these guys are a little bit more mature. Not so keen on the puppy energy, huh? No, more chill dogs. So chill. Cement is being delivered. Also, lots of sand. Look at all the cement, wow. This is gonna be a big job for the patio. Wow, that is a lot of cement. This is gonna be great. So the patio is gonna be all the way um, over in that side. Okay, so this is different. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but they look like different things. I thought it was just going to be cement, but it looks like it's different types of things. Okay, so all this sand 
and that cement it's gonna go in this area right up to there's gonna be steps from the this is the kitchen doors there's gonna be steps down here and then natural stone with all the cement all over here it's gonna be in line with those steps over there so up to those steps all across here and all of this is going to be covered in stone some sand cement so yeah big project all right so this is the cement and then this is um, something else that obviously needs to be mixed in with the cement Sand is being dropped <laughs> here, <laughs> and this the sand is going to move all the way over there and make a nice little patio. Wow! So this is going to be happening super soon. I'm so excited. I didn't think this was going to be happening for weeks, but it's here. The sand is happening. Okay, so I am incredibly excited and surprised basically this is going to be covered in beautiful stone really soon i thought i'd have to wait a little while but they're kind of currently unloading the sand and you can see the cement bags over there so this is pretty great emma hey emma what you got there what you got there have you been scavenging again oh my gosh oh my gosh where do you get this thing hey veggie bed update Zucchini healthy. Zucchinis are doing super great. And so is the tomato. It's got a little flower. And yeah, strawberries as well. Um, those guys at the back, I still need to put the 10 liter containers over them. I've got them, I just need to do it now. Yeah, so veggie bed is looking really great. I'm super impressed. I might have to just keep it clean and take out these little weeds um just so that they don't steal the water i should take them out with the root baby <laughs> look they look so healthy they look really really good healthy little plants okay great news this vine is alive that's a little leaf over there and there's another one really small over here can't really see that but so this one's alive, which is super, super good news. There you go. And that one is definitely alive. It's got really big leaves already. So you can even see it from here. Amazing. Okay, so this one and this one are doing great, but I'm afraid this one is actually um, probably dead. Right, it's looking amazing. Look at all the sand, empty van. <laughs> all the sand, all the sand. There we go, a massive sand pile. And then they're gonna sweep it out with that. Tulips are still looking amazing. Mostly. Mostly just beautiful. And this vine, also very much alive. Looking great. Uh, these guys looking really good. Fantastic. Oh, this one has got some leaves as well, here. Okay. Weird, but anyway, it's got a leaf. <laughs> and let's see if this one's any good. Oh, I'm not seeing any leaves right now. It's still early, but I would have loved to see at least one leaf here or there. This one might not be so good either. Okay, so this tree is half alive, but the top bit is not. So I think I will trim the top bits because they would have had leaves by now. Same goes for this white tree. It's got green over there, but the rest of it is dead. It's really a pity. So the trees just sort of half stay alive. Hmm. This is the walnut tree. Look at that, beautiful. 
stunning. So I'm planning to trim this one a little bit because otherwise it's going to block the sunlight in the morning from the bedroom window. So I'm just going to take a couple of small branches, the smallest ones, and just sort of trim off those. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get a ladder and trim a couple of small branches, hopefully soonish, so that the leaves don't get too big. Yeah, that's the plan. So this patio here is going to have stone um, cement and I think I might also do some down this way on this little cement pathway and leading to the east patio because this will definitely be stone cement patio over here so I can have my morning coffee in the sun. This is the only area that gets morning sun everything else is sort of blocked off by the house so morning sun gets into the bedroom and it would be here that's it up until 11 a.m about so definitely having a patio here it's gonna be beautiful you can see emma over there just hanging out supervising she's doing a great job gnawing on something she's scavenged from somewhere and this here is the exhaust <laughs> whoops that's just fallen off the back of the uh, van so uh, I guess they're going to be fixing that today. Luckily the sand got here, so it's good news. Very, very good news. Lucky. Look at that, super duper clean. Looks great. So this van works perfectly as a sand trailer. Bye bye van. All the sand is here. Also a spectator. I think he's just a friend who was like, what are you guys doing? And he just came in to visit. And Emma's pleased. It's all good. Okay, so great news. I am going to have a patio really soon. I'm so happy. Um, sand mountain. Super pleased with that. Oh, okay. The guy who was here just visiting, he's actually a, a neighbor's relative or something because he's just closing the neighbor's gate. So interesting. This is how I meet people so randomly. Hmm. Well, I need to learn some Bulgarian if I actually want to meet them. <laughs> There's Emma. Emma Line. Trotting along. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Is it pretty, Emma? Hello. <laughs> Looks like Emma is quite pleased with the sand. It's like, oh, you have brought the beach to me. Is that fun, Wolfitz? Oh dear. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you digging a hole to? Cement underneath there, Wolfitz. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> so cute, oh my gosh. Okay, so... These are the cats, the litter box, there's little Bailey at the back. And they are going to be moved into the new house today. This little adventurer, she can't wait. Um, she's just hissed at Emma. There we go. She's not impressed with Emma. There's a dog at this place. Ah, uh -huh. uh, little Bailey, she just wants to have peaceful time. So Smudgy's going to be adventuring a little bit and he, oh sorry Emma, I'm just going to move them into the house, Emma will be outside and I'm going to make some tea, it'll be okay. Okay update, it's like two seconds later and Smudgy's now purring, who's purring, are you purring? She's praying. That's pretty good. She's excited to be here. Yay! I was a little bit nervous, but it's gonna be great. Everything's gonna work out just fine. The house is looking super duper. There's a little bit of afternoon sunshine going on. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice. Um, the conservatory looks so nice. It's getting the afternoon sun. It's gonna be really hot in summer, but right now, early spring, it's just perfect. It's just being warmed up by the sun so nicely. So I'm probably gonna move a couch in there and enjoy whilst the weather is still allowing that. Mm -hmm. Here's little Emma line. 
Oh, hi, Emma. Are you going to have some cat friends? Are you going to have cat friends? Huh? Are you excited? Oh, I hope you're going to be super duper nice to them and keep your distance. <laughs> Smudgy doesn't like wolfies. Only wolfies in the distance. You'll be fine. So there's Smudgy and little Emma line. Smudgy looking not super impressed. Who's not impressed? <laughs> Emma's impressed. She's like, ah, oh, new friends, new friends, new friends, yeah. Hmm, not so interested. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. There's some hissing going on. Curious dog. More hissing. <coughs> Curious dog. Oh, she's going to learn the hard way. <coughs> oh, <coughs> poor Emma line. Are you going to get smacked in the face? Probably. Probably. Very unimpressed cat. <laughs> Bailey is just like, oh, let me in the house. <laughs> okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh, Bailey is hissing as well. Oh, sorry, Emma. Sorry. She just wants to be friends. Kitties do not want to be friends. Mm. There's Smudgy back there as well. The sky looks amazing, by the way. Look at that. Clouds look crazy beautiful. I love these little sheep clouds. Stunning. Pretty house. You can see the sun looking so good. Okay get the cats. Oh, the cats are settled. I just put them in like five minutes ago and they're eating and drinking. <laughs> wow, so they really do not mind moving at all. Um, Bailey had a little hiss at Emma outside and Emma yelped, but there was no contact. Emma's just a little bit of a drama queen, I guess, because Bailey was really far away from her, <laughs> but it was a really intense hiss, so I guess. It was a bit scary, but look at them. They're pretty happy. Um, I've got so much stuff. I didn't realize I've got so much stuff. Um, this is a lot of things. I mean, I used to live in a van. <laughs> How is this even possible? I used to fit all of this stuff in the van, except for the green bucket. I bought that here. <laughs> um, anyway, cats are happy. They got their litter box. They got the food. They got the water. They're pretty relaxed. And we're just going to have a really quiet night, really quiet. In one room so they can just get used to the room. Hey kitten. Okay. My little Bailey. My little Bailey. Hi. You want to go adventure already? You want to go out that door? We're not going out that door tonight. We're just gonna stay in the bedroom and relax, okay? She's such an adventure cat. She's like, but there's something on the other side of that door. I want to know. What's there? What's there? It's a hallway. <laughs> Cute. So I've just made a little cat bed up there. It's a little extra blankie. Smudgy is going to consider it maybe, potentially. Bailey is eating. Yeah, pretty relaxed. It's feeling really good. And the walnut tree is looking amazing. I love that walnut tree. Oh, look at this. Happy cats. Adventuring. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Everything, um, everything feels okay right now. This bed is also very comfortable. A very comfy bed. Probably Smudgy will be sleeping on the bed. Not that bed. This bed. <laughs> she thinks she's a little bit of a human, which I believe is normal for cats. <laughs> Bailey has accepted the kitty cat bed. I think because it is elevated. So this is the mattress on the floor. And she's like, yes, I will be higher than you, human. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look, she looks like a little sphinx. She's an awesome cat. And Smudgy is eating some more. Wow, maybe it's like stress eating. I'm not sure. They've both eaten twice actually now and Smudgy's eaten now a third time. Um, but better to eat than not to eat, I think. So that's all good. This is what I expected. This is going to be the future. 
cat in winter. There's lots of birds in that walnut tree, so she's gonna have endless entertainment. And Emma also walks underneath the window sometimes, so she'll be able to see Emma and look down on her. So I think cat in bedroom window is gonna be a thing for sure. Okay, so we have been in the new house for about three hours now. Swaggy is very chill. <laughs> and Bailey as well. You can see her up there. Oh, she's so cute. She likes her high up bed. She's just been sitting there most of the time. Curling up, stretching out, curling up, stretching out. <laughs> So, the cats are pleased. I'm pleased too. Yeah, this is a pretty nice room. It's pretty good. The cats are going to stay here for the night and tomorrow they'll explore the rest of the house. And this is what the room looks like. I moved the kettle in here. I moved the little lime grain lamp in here. It's on top of the litter box. <laughs> and all the rest is just uh, stuff that I moved in bags and boxes. So yeah, so it really does look like I've just moved in. And that's my little food corner over there. I've just made myself some dinner. There's dessert. <laughs> and whilst I was making dinner, look who took my spot. Hello. Are you a loaf of bread? Loaf of cat? <laughs> Hello, loaf of cat. Bailey is wondering why Emma's making a noise outside. What's that noise is? Is it barking? Is it barking? It's purring, huh? Yeah, it's purring. I think there's jackals outside, so Emma's making a bit of a commotion. But Smudgy's purring, so I guess it's all good. <laughs> 